Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Anthony Booker and welcome to the Gathering Place Ministries. Today we're going to be talking about the sound of Pentecost. The sound of Pentecost. On day four of creation in Genesis 1, 14 through 18, it gives us a detailed account of what God had made. Here begins the reading of God's holy word and it says, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good. So far the scripture. God said that these lights should be for signs, seasons, and that these lights should rule. For God set them to be so. God placed them in their order in heaven. This then would become the first Pentecost. The second Pentecost is shown to us when Noah leaves the ark after the flood and builds an altar to the Lord and sacrifices to him on the first Sunday in June. God begins to tell Noah of the covenant that he would make with him in Genesis 9, 12 and 13. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a sign or a token of a covenant between me and the earth. God set his rainbow in the cloud for a sign to Noah that the waters of a flood will no more cover the earth. The third Pentecost is seen on Mount Sinai when God gives the law to Moses on the first Sunday in June as well. God gives instruction to Moses to set bounds for the people so they won't come up to the mountain. He gives the law to Moses and in Exodus 21 and 1 he says, Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. There are 613 laws in the Torah that was given to Israel. The children of Israel were to wear the law on their heads in frontlets and to bind them on their hands as signs of their deliverance from Egypt. But on the anniversary of the giving of the law in AD 33, the Holy Spirit came and on the day of Pentecost as a rushing mighty wind and wrote the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus in the hearts and minds of the 120 and 3,000 souls were saved that day. 3,000 souls were killed at the Pentecost of Sinai when Moses received the law. But again, we see 3,000 were saved at the Acts Pentecost. Christ fulfilled the law at Sinai to bring us the new law of the Spirit. Fast forward almost 2,000 years after Pentecost to Azusa Street in California. Miracles, signs, and wonders fell on the people. Anytime the Spirit of God pours out on a generation, it's because of the persecution that's about to follow. The Holy Spirit comes to refine and refire us. He is the refiner's fire. James 5, 7 says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. The church had went through the early outpouring to prepare them for what was coming in 8070. But what's coming in the months and years ahead, we will need to bask in the presence of God to receive the latter rain. Anytime you're in the presence of God, you are in the mountain of the Lord. Isaiah says it would be established in the last days in the tops of the mountains. The last days always refer to a first century Jerusalem. But we are now living in the times of the latter years. But in 1 Samuel, the Lord prepares us to go to the hill of God. 1 Samuel 10, 5-7 says, After that thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass, when thou come, art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place, with a psaltery and a tabret and a pipe and a harp before them. And they shall prophesy, and the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. Thou shalt prophesy with them, and shalt be turned into another man. And it let it be, when these signs are come unto thee, that thou do as occasion serve thee. For God is with thee. When you are in the presence of the Lord, or in the 
hill of God or in his holy mountain, there is a sound that is released in you and from you into the earth. Second Kings 3.15 says, But now bring me a minstrel, and it come to pass, when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him. This is the word of the Lord to the minstrels that have set their lives aside for hearing the sound of the Lord. As you sit before me to hear sounds of heaven, I will open your heart to receive, and I shall enlarge your capacity to receive revelation from me. Even for me, says the Lord, as my spirit came in on the day of Pentecost as a rushing mighty wind, it carried a sound that sound is the echo of my voice. As you reverberate my sound in the earth, you shall prophesy upon the strings and play upon the harp of David and slay demons and giants that have stood in the way of my people. You will break down garrisons of the enemy me and you shall beat the heads of the enemies before you even as I have done at the cross for Isaiah 30 and 30 through 32 says and the Lord shall cause his glorious verse to be heard and shall show the lighting down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of a devouring fire with a scattering in tempests and hailstones for through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beat down which smote with a rod and in every place or the grounded staff shall pass which the Lord shall lay upon him it shall be with tablets and harps and in battles of shaking will he fight with it see the enemy here is the Assyrian but this enemy is a type of the devil it's a type of the enemy of the world the Satan of the world the enemy of all people and God has given you power in the sounds of the spirit to hear his voice to come against every demonic attack to come against every demonic foe in the name of Jesus you have the sound of God. You have the Spirit of God on the inside of you. Listen and hear His voice in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Be blessed. Thank you.